Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm going to continue on in my book that I started. And we're going to talk on from where I left off. just want to share with you my shirt. Warning, I may talk about oils at any minute, any time. I like this shirt. Uh, it says... Since holding on to a negative emotions had adverse effects on the body, what happens when these emotions are released? While you may feel better initially, if the emotional expression is negative, there is usually repercussions. The alternative to a negative response is to express the positive aid of the ex emotion that sounds like a viable option so let's take a common emotion like anger we all know how it feels to get angry and what it is like to be the recipient of the one uh, else's anger someone else's anger now that you have now that you have decided to express the positive or the other side what is it? Joy? Happiness? Love? Peace? While there are all positive emotions, is only one of them is the opposite of anger. To find a po find a position <laughs> I'm having a hard time reading. Find a positive expression for the anger for the energy known as anger. We need to understand what it is and what causes it. It says you are pursuing your goal. Let's say you're pursuing your goal. You're picking up momentum and everything is moving along just fine when you suddenly hit a roadblock. Your options are to go over it, under it, around it, or through it. If you are not sure of which direction to go... You'll sit there trying to decide as the energy continues to build. Anger. When the pressure re reaches the sufficient level, something has to give away. The, nev the negative expression is the energy in anger. Or the negative expression of energy is anger. Anger doesn't always have to have a negative effect. It would provide an impetus to change an unhealthy situation or bring a problem into a conscious awareness of the solution can be found. Regardless, anger is an ex explosion of energy that gets attention. Negative attention. What is a positive expression of an explosion of energy? Laughter. Now, what would you rather experience? Anger or laughter? Wait a minute. What happens if you ha have a lot of negative energy around a positive emotion? Perhaps you have told your laughter... Uh, what? Perhaps you were to, to hold your laughter was inappropriate and you laughed... At, as a child. Let me reread that. Perhaps you were told your laughter was inappropriate or were laughed at as a child. If this were the case, it would be hard for you to spontaneously laugh. Assessing your laughter requires releasing a blocked emotions around laughter as well as around anger. When you are able to feel both sides of the emotion, you are free to fully experience a feeling. You know how you, you now have a choice of holding or releasing the emotion. Releasing the emotion positively uh, creates good feelings for, for yourself and for those around you. Holding an, a positive emotion allows you to use the energy 
for a positive or creative expression through the work or play. Aspects of clearing emotional patterns. Here's a short one. I'll finish it and then we'll be done for today. Changing the emotional patterns takes more than just feeling both sides of emotion. It takes recognizing and understanding the pattern that triggers the emotion, which is the mental aspect. It takes getting the message or learning the lesson by increasing awareness, which is a spiritual aspect. I didn't know that. Changing the automatic conditioner, conditioned response requires a- accessing the cellular m- memory that is stored in the physical body. While the decision to changing, while the decision to change a pattern is the first step, it alone is not enough to sw- to shift a well ingrained ingrained response. The pattern needs to be understood and identified so it can be recognized. Once you are able to recognize the emotional pattern, like anger, you can decide whether you want to feel angry or feel laughter. Let's say you would like to feel laughter, but you can't seem to get past the anger. Anything Knowing that anger comes from a dis- uh, direction being blocked, you need to change your perspective to see the situation from the different point of view, enabling you to determine your way out or the best direction to take. This higher perspective is a spiritual component and provides the way out and allows you to get the message or the lesson by, by increasing your awareness. The way out of anger is to sh- the sh- to it is the way out of anger is to shift perspective. My direction is clear. Facilities the shift. Automatic responses have a physical component, meaning the emotion is stored in the cells of the body. We know that traditional acupuncture, like that anger, is stored in the liver. The liver, as well as the other glands and organs, can be accessed through points of the body known as alarm points. So that's how far I'm going today. One thing I've learned about my husband and I, um, I get angry or he gets angry and we just look at each other and go, rah, 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 you know, stuff like that. And it gets you to change your attitude towards whatever it is. But usually... If he gets, if I get upset with him, he'll take my hand and kiss it. He just take it from me. Just reach out and grab it and kiss it, and the anger's gone instantly. So that's one thing I really love about my husband is that when I'm angry at him, he'll say, "Go ahead and hit me" or something. I say, "I ain't gonna hit you," but he'll grab my hand and kiss it, and the anger's gone instantly. So, I know that has nothing to do with oils, but it's just something I wanted to share that we do, or we have did, or he did to me, and it works. So, anyway, if you like this, um, tomorrow, when I come on, I will be talking about essential oils to release or change emotional patterns. That's the part I'm going to read tomorrow. So, i see you tomorrow. Smash the like button. Ta-ta for now.